Hello folks, uh, my name is Alex and I'm just going to give you a quick video tour of the Occupy Richmond um, camp. We're here at Kanawha Plaza. It's a uh, ninth and canal. If you're interested, come on down, get involved. Uh, I just figured I'd take a quick tour, do some video, and let people know what we got going on down here. This is our protest corner. Occupy Richmond! Pretty excited about the Occupy Wall Street group. Yeah. And then this is kind of a combination area. We've got a gentleman down here who is uh, just working on bikes. Um, he will work on your bicycle for free. Because um, a lot of the people here uh, get around the city by bike. And then, so if you've got something wrong with your bike, he will take care of it for you. Uh, and then we also have a camp area. The tarps are up to help try and keep the ground um, as dry as possible when it rains and also um, for people to sleep under when it's raining. Uh, we've got a bicycle parking and common area going on here. And when you get out here, this is where we have GA. Or this is where we have GA most of the time. Occasionally we've had some individuals here who are disabled. So uh, when they are here uh, and they can't make it down into the, we call it the fishbowl. Uh, I think it was originally a fountain. Um, if they can't make it down into the fountain, then um, we'll hold it uh, up, uh, up over there on the stairs. Over on that side. And uh, what else have we got here? See, that's our big pyramid. There are some folks sleeping under the tarp up there. They've built themselves a nice little tent. Some local occupiers. Say hello. Coffee is obviously right. <laughs> this is our uh, legal tent for our legal department and our police liaison. It is not legal device, legal advice, but they're the people who try to uh, help keep us out of trouble. This is the media tent. This is where we make the magic, uh, or what kind of magic we can make. You said it was idiot proof, so you should replace it. I said, Madam, maybe the choice idiot proof was the wrong term to use. And got a little bit more tent situation. I'm just doing a video tour. got some more signage up and this one we put up specifically um, so that uh, people who are either here and occupying you know camping or uh, visiting can write stuff on it and uh, then it'll be up there for everybody to see and then this what we're coming up on right here is gonna be kitchen food very important um, we've been really lucky the uh, the Richmond area and the surrounding environs have supported us uh, wonderfully. Uh, we've got uh, food, it's good, and uh, you know, we're really thankful and grateful for all the support that we've gotten. So, uh, there you go. That is food. This uh, big tent right here is a combination of uh, storage for food and comfort. Comfort uh, is um, let me think, blankets, uh, warm jackets, warm clothing, all of that kind of stuff. And then we have tents. We have tents. So there you go. Tents, lots of tents. So we have been here now uh, officially for seven days. And if you look, I don't know, let's see, can we zoom in that far? Where is he? Oh, you see him? You know who that is? That is a security guard for the Federal Reserve because that building right there, that's the Fed, Federal Reserve. 
Uh, we are both in front of and on top of it. Uh, there are two stories worth of Federal Reserve underground uh, right under this park. So, you know, we've taken it all back. Thank you. Very Thank much. you very much. Uh, would you mind helping me with that? What he was just talking to me about? Uh, I have no idea what he was talking to me about. All right. We had to take care of something real quick. Sorry about that. Um, so this, uh, this is where our tents are. And we have a number of tents. We have uh, roughly 120 uh, who have been here overnight um, for the last three or four nights at least, at least since Wednesday. Um, and I expect that after this weekend we'll probably have more. Um, this weekend we're holding uh, a humanitarian forum. Uh, we're going to have a number of different speakers coming from uh, some colleges here in Virginia. We're going to have a couple of bands. So uh, we will be up and running. I think uh, that will go well. I think it will be successful. And um, hopefully some of the people who come to see the humanitarian forum will stay or uh, come back and uh, take part in the occupation. So, and the other thing is that for uh, those of you who are not uh, actually here and participating in the direct occupation, you can participate and, uh, you know, uh, you can help out by um, just helping to support either our, our, our occupation here in Richmond or any of the occupations going on around the country. Uh, you know, the more people we have to support it, the longer it can last, and the more people can actually occupy. And if those two things can happen, then we have a better chance of actually um, succeeding and getting some things done and getting things changed. This is our uh, both library, and it's our library education area. Um, people have been donating books of all varieties. You can see right over here, we have a number of different uh, pamphlets that have been made up to, uh, to just kind of give people a little bit of education about how we got here and why different groups are here. And uh, this is in preparation for tomorrow's humanitarian forum. People are uh, making some banners and stuff. So, yeah. Local anarchists have put up a uh, banner in solidarity with Roman anarchists. The Wingnuts. The Wingnuts have been very helpful, very useful group to have around. Uh, I have, I personally have really appreciated them being here. I'm sure everybody has appreciated them being here. They're very knowledgeable, and uh, and and have been really cool. So yeah, and we are also. Right under Williams Mullen, uh, which is a very large um, cor corporate law firm here in Virginia. And then there is, of course, BB&T, one of our bankers. McGuire Woods, a hugely conservative uh, law firm that uh, has has been involved in Virginia politics for uh, for as long as they've existed. And then we have SunTrust, yay. There, you can barely see it from here, but there's the Merrill Lynch building. And if you look up right here, way, way, way up, you have Dominion Power. And then down here, We have a collection or a variety of signs. Some of them are really pretty neat. Some of them I don't appreciate personally quite as much, but I don't speak specifically for the movement, so they're allowed to have them here and I'm allowed to not appreciate them as much. I appreciate this. That's pretty awesome. All right, so you gotta open it up and go to options. Take it on my phone. Right. Okay. 
wrapping it up. We're going to options. <laughs> options, main menu. Ah, uh, we've got some folks and taking some pictures. <laughs> Next to the Occupy Richmond sign. Our signs go down all the way. Pretty far anyway. I don't see camera. It should say camera picture or something. We've got a couple of larger banners up here. In camp. Keep our park open. We can has class war. Thank you very much from the Wingnuts, our local anarchists. We have the American Dream is only that. There you go. Some more. Those uh, steps actually had um, chalk writing on all of them, um, but uh, the city apparently considers them graffiti. And since the police and the city council have been uh, extremely cooperative with us, we thought it would be um, a sensible thing to cooperate with them to take some of that down. Even though it's only chalk, most of us think it's kind of ridiculous. We figured it was good to not uh, antagonize people over something relatively small. What else have we got here? And there you go. That's our video tour. And that is uh, Occupy Richmond's uh, current situation. Uh, I'm sure that uh, should we keep growing as we both hope and expect to, uh, that that will change somewhat. But uh, so far, we're doing pretty well. We've gotten pretty well organized. We have things running relatively well. Um, we can always use more help in a variety of different areas. So uh, come on down, come on down, get involved, take part, make your voice heard.